Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 19 here on Midwest Horizons with Seasons. Woohoo! The host, if not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller, folks, today we got lots to do. The first thing I want to tell you is uh, I, I moved uh, to into this house, and it's going to be here. We're going to call it the Sheep Farm. Let's go over here real quick, show you walls here before we get started. I got two of the small bell trailers and a small bell baler. And we got a 4955 all shined up and ready to go. Uh, over here is our sheep pasture. I ain't got no sheep in it yet. There's a food trough, water troughs down there. But uh the this is the open sheep pasture. I just happened to put it in here because it's all fenced around. And that just looks perfect. Man, close, come on. There we go. But we can go in here. So we can go in here. There we go. Plan on stacking bales in here. Probably hay or grass. Yeah, we're going to use something like a skid steer or something. Bring them in and out. And just loop right there. And be done with it. Now as far as the water. There's a water pump I can use. That can keep water in for them I think. So I'm going to try that. And close this door back. And yeah. I really don't know what this is used for in a way, but it looks like that. some kind of feeding area. Maybe where they can come in. But we're not going to use that. And it's got an up bay here where we can put some more grass or storage or whatever we want in here. Just in case. Um. I think that's it. This is going to be a shop over here. I don't know if it's got the shop trigger, but we'll probably put down another one somewhere. I can put down that little, little shop trigger thing here to repair our vehicles. That'd be handy. But all right, uh, we got a bunch of stuff up here, as you can see lots and it's kind of laggy because I got so much up here at one time so we're just gonna I'm gonna start down here but yeah I scratched the last episode it was pretty much just a preview of Midwest Horizons without the seasons but we got the Bronx wood chipper on the front and we got the bio belt stump grinder on the back. I figure, you know, we just try it that way. And this big thing here is a wood chipper. You put, well, let me get in the truck and I'll show you. This international work star. But yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> pretty good size chipper. But we're going to okay, I'm having a issue with this truck. As you can see, well, you can't see. Hang on just a second. Can you see? Uh, start engine. What engine did I start where I go? Ah, oh, that was the wood chipper I was starting up. Okay. No wonder I couldn't go. I learned something new. Anyway, follow me. And about 25 is about right there. We're just going to get all these to follow me. 
Uh, we got a. Uh, I can get my vehicle. We have Colleen and Julian. Uh, Bo from Pitbull Reality Gaming, I think. Colin Julian's from uh, Colin Julian Vlogs. All down below in the description, folks. You check them out if you want to. Uh, oh, start engine first. And control F. We've got 35. Yeah, about 35. Yeah. And we got one more. We got a. I think this is a Bobcat E45. Want to help us with the wood and stuff. Right, start. Control F. Uh oh, don't, no, no, don't tell me it's not out of, it's out of range. Fifteen dollar wedge payment. I don't know what's. Okay, we're gonna go thirty on that. Now you're probably wondering about the money situation. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. Let's see, that's enough bottle meats for right now. How many we got? Four. One, two, three, four. Yep. And plus meats five. I told you I really didn't know how I was going to do it. So I'm on. Let's say I moved here. And I borrowed some money from my uncle, which was $5 million. He's like, what do you want it for? I said, I'm going to start my farm. He's like, you only need more than $5 million to do the farm right. I'm like, well, okay. I'll start with $5 million first. Let me turn my hazards on. And go from there. And he's like, okay. So, I want to try to work a little bit, get some of that $5 million paid back, and then we'll go from there and buy some more stuff. But I want to do cows and sheeps. We'll probably start with sheeps first since I already got the pen set up. Um, so, that's where I'm at. It's $5 million, and we're going to go from there. So let me get these vehicles where I need to be, and I'll be right back in a snap of a finger, folks. All right, we're at the spot where I'm just going to take the trees off of this and turn it into a field. And we got some trees right there. To pull it up on the map, you can see right at 14, we own 14, and it goes up to... 16, we own 18, 17, 16, 15, 19, and 14 right there. Let's go on this map. It'll be a little bit better. All right, here we are. We're 18, 17, and I'm thinking about going ahead and buying 73. Uh, it's 171,000. It's not really that much. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. All right, way we own this whole square plus this rectangle here. Uh, 13, 12. Uh, I thought about buying these, but then again, I'm not. I'm just not right now. We still got to get kind of buying and stuff. So um, I do have two transportation, transporting mod, uh, mods. Uh, I'll talk here in a minute, folks. Transporting jobs to do. What was that? 355 wedge. Oh, just for having to follow me, bring these guys down here. But anyway, um, as far as pins, uh, we got sheep pin, but we don't have no sheep in it yet. Uh, we have no loan yet, as far as this bank account. But remember, I do owe my uncle. Five million dollars. So yeah. Um, oh, I want to show you this. Uh, go grass, and then we're gonna go over. It's showing this field here. Is ready to harvest. See, ready to harvest. Pop it back up. And I is this 
seasons is not recognizing it or something I guess but right here is the patch of woods so if I can get that patch of woods right there cleaned out and make this all feel we'll have one big feel here uh, we have one two three and count this and be four grass fields now I do not have 29, 28, and 25 no more. I sold all of them. Uh, here's a sheep farm. And right over here, field 15 on this side, it's going to be our shop yard. We're going to make a shop yard out of that, folks. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me turn this baby on. And we're going to haul our wood chips in our little trailer right there. Um, we would still have to get some trailers. Might have to get another semi. So, there it goes. Now, this thing uh, also cuts stumps, but I want to see how good this back one does. That's what I was thinking. And I got caught on it. I probably had to back into it. If it had front rotor arms on it where I could raise it up higher, it probably would work. There it goes. I'm going to lower it down. Seems to be working pretty good and pretty fast. So I think what I need to do is just use these one at a time. But it did get the stumps there. Alright, why aren't you cutting? Because I can drive through them. Hmm. I might not be able to take those out. Might have to try plowing them up or see if they'll grow or something. Because I can drive through them like they're not even there. So that's not a good thing. And we'll see right here. Well, you can see it, it does the stumps too. It just takes a little bit longer. Not that much longer, but yeah. As far as the big crusher right there, the beast, as they call it, on the. Oh, don't fall on it, don't fall on it, don't fall. Oh, caught it just in time. That's going to be for those trees right there. We're going to get set up down there. Not in this episode. we got some more stuff we got to do. Um, still got to get our farm equipment situated. But I do want to get the plows out or this and, and this up some of this ground. Um, probably going to start up on the other end. All right, it's going to spray into our trailer right there. Come on, there we go. Let's see, that should be should be it. So we'll turn it off. And put the pipe back in. Oh, pipe band. And we're going to shut everything off right here. 
can't. I don't know if I need. I ain't made a waypoint up to. Oh, we ain't. We got one point fifty six tons of wood chips, so not too bad. Another beast. Let's see. Let's get one of the other tractors. Uh, the Taylor Hammer here is going to be um, for the cows and the sheep and stuff like that. But here we got 4960s hooked up to the I think 2210 disc. Got two of them. Got a, uh, our drill there. Got the planter over there. And I'm probably going to have to go up here because it's raining where I'm living at now. Real life. 4955 on the bat wing. This bat wing is for cotton stalks. So I'm going to have to see how it's going to handle with other uh, with the grass and stuff. Look at that little 5M, I believe. Uh, 5125R pulling a fertilized trailer and then we got uh, Puma on uh, the PF 1500 which is modded I think it's 3800 uh, liters what it holds with the uh, ag spray boom there's another spray boom we got we may be getting another one of these tractors and that'll be more commercial there's a three-point hitch 12 row. Let's see, 3, 6. Yep, 12 row. Yeah, I got two scratchers here for cultivators on our 4640s. Got two of them. Got a weeder. And then over here on our gooseneck trailer, we have a line on a four pallets of line. Ooh, they didn't set that in there good. Uh, four pallets of liquid fertilizer and two pallets of dry fertilizer and four pallets of seeds. We're going to take that and get it put in the shop. We also have a John Deere 325G skid loader. Didn't quite put it on there evenly, but it's, it's on there. It's not going nowhere. So, folks, I think I'm going to leave it at this right now. Uh, just pretty much getting those trees knocked down. Um, next episodes, we're going to get into the plow. I mean, this. I, I love these uh, hoses, how they got them working now. That is just so realistic. I'm going to send this out. Uh, send this guy to the sheep farm and get this stuff put on the barn just in case it decides to rain. Oh, wait, 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 before I get started. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, all S. As you can see, I'm thinking we can go ahead and plant oats, barley, and wheat. Um, Oh man, I thought cotton was available on this map. Ain't no cotton stage. We'll have to try it and see. See if it'll grow. We have canola, sunflowers, and soybeans. Uh, canola and sunflowers we can plant right now. Soybeans and corn we'll have to wait a little bit. As you can see here, we can do double crop. If we get them in the ground enough time, so yeah, uh, we have uh, all the way down to sugar cane. Sugar cane's not on here either, so I just don't know about that. But this right here, it gives us that's the third clock right there. But it gives us, you know, wait till this is today, and then Wednesday. Between six and nine, so and tomorrow it's going to be. But drying potential is this. Uh, today it's pretty dry. Then 
about, I don't know, five, six o'clock, I guess. It's not. Then we have a couple of days drying here with winds. We just have to worry about our grass and stuff. And this is uh, frost resistant and drought resistance. I uh, have to premiere myself with that. Here's our sales. Uh, crop rotation planner. Uh, this is the settings I got on Fahrenheit, seasons, introductions on nine days is the season length, and all the other stuff is on. So I just want to show you this before we go. So, not today, but tomorrow, probably be right in here. Because this is our second day of early spring. We're going to start planting. So, what I want to do, get all this stuff off this lot so they won't be griping at me. And go from there. And also, I think next episode I'll be putting down the shop and stuff a little bit. And go from there. All right. So, folks, I appreciate y'all watching. I'm sorry we didn't get much done today, but you got to see it a little bit. And let's see, market to sheep farm. Uh, see, this is from when I was playing with about seasons. It's better F1 to market, and market to F1. Those two are going to have to be deleted because we don't own them no more. Which I probably could have kept them in there, but oh well, too late now. Market to sheep farm is where we're going. So, uh, yeah. Drive course. Stop at the last trigger. Hope y'all have a, a good day, folks. Uh, you know, it's raining here where I'm at, but not much. But it's bad lightning, so I'm going to get off here. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy these series I'm fixing to make. Try to keep y'all old stuff mixed with some new stuff. On, uh, yeah. So until next time, I guess uh, that's going to be it. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell. And thank you for going out of control, mister. Couldn't have waited till after the outro. <laughs> oh, well. There's a lot of weight here. A lot of weight. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for everything y'all do. Y'all are a blessing to me. Y'all are awesome. And having to say that, it's time to go. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Bye. Oh, don't jack now. Don't jack now. Oh, it's pushing me. There we go. Oh, I'm bombing it now. Come on, Chevrolet.